In this video, we will talk about acceleration. Going from place to place in your car, you seldom travel long distances at constant velocity. I mean, we don't actually travel long distances with the same velocity throughout the driving period, right? At some point, you will stop your car because of traffic. At some point, you speed up your car because you are getting late to work. Remember, the velocity of the car increases when you step harder on the gas pedal and decreases when you apply the brakes. The velocity also changes when you round a curve, altering your direction of motion. The changing of an object's velocity with time is called acceleration. The average acceleration during the time interval delta t is the change in velocity delta v divided by delta t. Mathematically, that is, average acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity divided by final time minus initial time. Suppose the car shown in the figure accelerates at an initial velocity of positive 10 meters per second to a final velocity of positive 20 meters per second in a time interval of 2 seconds. Find the average acceleration. To solve this, we just need to apply the formula. That is, average acceleration equals delta V over delta T, or that is 20 meters per second minus 10 meters per second divided by 2 seconds. The answer is equal to positive 5 meters per second squared. The answer is positive, which means the car moves to the right or east. If we have a positive acceleration, then we can also have a negative acceleration. Negative acceleration does not necessarily mean an object is slowing down. If the acceleration is negative and the velocity is also negative, the object is speeding up. Suppose the velocity of the car changes from negative 10 meters per second to negative 20 meters per second in a time interval 2 seconds. The average acceleration is equal to negative 20 meters per second minus negative 10 meters per second divided by 2 seconds. The answer is equal to negative 5 meters per second squared. As you can see, both of the velocity and acceleration are negative. This means that the two vectors are in the same direction. So, the speed of the car must increase as the car moves to the left. Positive and negative acceleration specify relative to chosen axis, not speeding up or slowing down. The terms speeding up and slowing down refers to increase and decrease in speed, respectively. Remember, negative acceleration is not always equal to deceleration. Deceleration means a reduction in speed or slowing down. If we consider motion in one dimension, then the deceleration occurs when the sign of velocity and acceleration are opposite. A negative velocity and a positive acceleration mean deceleration. A positive velocity and a negative acceleration mean deceleration. If both velocity and acceleration are positive, we have positive acceleration. And if both of them are negative, then we have a negative acceleration. In the next video, we will discuss about instantaneous acceleration.